What's good with y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, we're about to check out this amazing promo by Cody Rhodes. Once again, when it comes to Cody, he knows how to build a feud. He knows how to build for a match. And this was just another demonstration of why promos that are just created by the wrestlers themselves always come off way better than scripted unscripted promos are the way to go that's the best way to get your talent over and they have that down pack when it comes to the promos not everybody on aew is a good promo but it allows people to grow and cody he is just a natural at it this was one of the best parts of the show tonight so let's check it out man i appreciate all the love and support on this channel road to 6k man this has been an amazing year for me just personally and just on the youtube scene man i mean y'all really rocking with me and y'all like my wrestling takes so we're gonna check this clip out man and then i'm gonna give my thoughts and opinions on the promo and the potential feud with uh mjf and where do i think it could possibly go so let's go into it Your blade, the bunny, that I know, and I look on your forehead. There's a lot on your mind, including that of MJF. Look at that scar, yo! That scar is pretty, uh, pretty gnarly. Very visible. <laughs> that was a deep cut. which if you extrapolate on my own stipulation that means I can never challenge for it ever again yep can't go for it ever and again last week last week felt a whole lot more like failing I'm laying there the recipient of another ass kicking from another unknown entity and when I reach my hand out for those who typically pull me up I find that everybody's a little bit preoccupied. My brother has entered into some sort of blood feud with the Young Bucks against Santana and Ortiz. <laughs> My wife is cutting off the hair of the yeah. members of the women's division. That's kind of weird what she got going on. <laughs> Yo, that scar is like hella visible. Now, like that shit's crazy blade, how deep that cut Bonnie, was. Andy, William, Pepper, Park, Sally, whatever pseudonym you want to go by, I am familiar with your work. I've seen beyond wrestling all the way to bar wrestling. All you had to do was ask for a match. I would have given you a match, but I understand the pomp and circumstance of wrestling. I mean, you people have seen my entrance. I get it. <laughs> yeah, his entrance is definitely extravagant. Got the fireworks, the fire coming through the floor. The butcher blade, bunny, we can do this anytime, anyplace. We can have a match right now. Yeah, he's hella over, bro. He's hella over, man. And it's dope to see that. On the mic, man. Very convincing, bro. You owe it to me because I hand picked you, Max. This is when it gets good. I picked you when nobody else wanted you. And I have a lot of emails and texts that can back that up. Whether 
they thought you were too short, whether they thought that you were hood rich and the scarf that you cling to is indeed a fake. <laughs> My man. My man's walking out there with a fake scarf, man. Yo, can't be doing that, bro. You can't, can't be doing that, man. You can't. This is supposedly your best friend, so your friend gonna know when you got the fake stuff going. You can't be, can't be out here flexing with the fake scarf. Ah, ah, that got a sting. I got that got a sting. I like that though. I like that line. Wow, <laughs> I like that, like that. The fact that under these bright lights you are nothing but a Bush League NWO version of Chris Jericho. Wow, nice, nice shots, man. I like this. Cody is, Cody is nice with it, man, on the mic. So let's sweeten the deal. You say you won't wrestle me? What's it gonna take? These are the keys to my Ford Black Ops. It's one of 300. Max loves that truck. It's yours. Mm. My man giving out the vehicles. It's an Omega Seamaster courtesy of Tony Khan. I know that's definitely not cheap. <laughs> I know that's not cheap, bro. Omega watches are not cheap. I'm going to go even higher. How about these red bottoms? These Louboutin shoes? You want these? Definitely not cheap. <laughs> he said red bottoms. That's some racks. And, and, and humor me. Humor me. Some people like cold hard cash, right? Justin, would you bring that briefcase in here, please? My man is really trying to get this match, bro. He's pulling out. The stops, bro. I'll give you the watch, the car, the Louis Vuitton shoes, and some cash. We know what's in the briefcase. Some cold hard cash. I ain't playing. I want this match, bro. You and your fake scarf. That's money. That is over $50,000 in real cash. You need me to validate it? Yes, I do. I'm going to slip a hundo off and... That young gentleman right there. Can you go ahead and give him that? That's dope. I'm pretty sure they kind of planned it for uh that kid to get uh to get that uh get the money. I'm sure they kind of planned it out. His reaction was so like tame. Look at look at what is this? I'm sorry. I'm not trying to make fun of the kid, bro. But I'm sorry. If I'm the kid, I'm at a wrestling show. And somebody in the ring, I may not even know who it is. Give me a crisp honey, a hundo. Yo, I'm, yo, Cody, I'm cutting up, bro. So, I don't know. He's a little bit too tame for me. That's still dope, though. He gave him a crisp hundred dollar bill. He in the front row. Max is the future, but an education is the passport there. And I'm going to educate you. I'm going to teach you. I'm going to harm you. I'm going to lacerate you. All you need to do is name your price. Each and every one of us, we're waiting. I'm waiting. Let's do this. Sold. I'm sold. I was already sold, but I'm sold even more. Hey man, I'm sold. Simple as that. Cody knows how to build a match. He did this for the Chris Jericho uh, match for the AEW Championship, and he's doing it here with MJF. I was looking forward to this feud. 
they you know they were best friends at one point and um i like that storyline i like storylines where a friend turns on another friend those turn out to be the better better storylines those who watch nxt you know Tommaso champa versus johnny gargano was easily one of the best storyline feuds i believe that was last year yeah one of the best storyline feuds of last year bro it was just a blood feud damn near brothers turn on each other it's great and i i see that here cody killing it as always he delivers in the promo area when i see him come out there to the ring to talk i stop what i'm doing whatever i'm working on videos editing doesn't matter i stop what i'm doing and i watch it all the way through you know what i'm saying sometimes i may fast forward through parts on aew because thank god for dvr so i may fast forward forward through matches i may not want to see but if i see cody there i would rewind watch it all the way through bro same thing with jericho he's the same way same way with john moxley there's a few on that show that when they talk you want to listen so shout out to cody once again hyping this matchup we will see in the upcoming weeks whether mjf accepts i'm sure he will but what will be his price and we will find out soon hopefully maybe next week but i'm looking forward to that match um comment down below if you guys are looking forward to that match if y'all honestly i want to get your honest opinion also comment down below if y'all think cody is one of the best in the business of all of wrestling when it comes to promos he's up there bro he has to be in your top 10 right now we're talking about active wrestlers i'm sure there's a lot of great uh wrestlers that give great promos but he has to be at least in your top 10 right now he's he's fantastic he knows how to hype you up he grabs your attention and you can tell it's all coming from here, from the heart, bro. It's not scripted. That's what I love about AEW. Not scripted promos. Go out there, say what you need to say. Just don't go too crazy with it. Just say what you need to say. Let it come from the heart, man. You feel me? So, I'm looking forward to this match. Let me know if you guys are. Let me know if you guys feel like he's one of the best guys to do it in the industry when it comes to promos. And uh, I appreciate y'all kicking it with me. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.